For RCR Wireless News, I'm Sean Kinney. We're here at the Rodian Schwarz booth at Mobile World Congress Americas in Los Angeles to talk to Dennis Solomon a little bit about IoT device testing. So Dennis, I mean, 5G's really kind of dominated the discussion here, but the IoT is a big part of 5G. This is going to massively contribute to devices and device density on the network. So what are the test implications of that? So IoT is a big part, as you already mentioned. There are three pillars to 5G, and IoT is one of them. Um, we will have massive applications for, fi for IoT in the 5G world, and uh, some of them we are actually demoing now, and um, we will go from here, like how we expand. Yeah, so I I'm curious, there's such a broad mix of IoT applications which results in this huge, varied device market, so yes. how are you guys providing the flexibility that's needed to uh, support all of those different testing needs? Sure. So um, for IoT primarily, there are two main use cases that we see. One is the cellular IoT part, which is the low power wireless area network, or LP WAN, which is driven by use cases from NB-IoT and EMTC. And then there is uh, indoor or in-house IoT network, which is your thermostats, which is your smart meters, which is your uh, security systems in-house. And, and those are served with Bluetooth low energy, ZigBee, and, and, and those low range uh, technologies. So both of these kind of technologies are supported on our platform, which is CMW500. And, um, and, and we, we have solutions that, that cater to different market segments there. All right, well, let's, uh, let's take a look at the CMW500. Tell me what's going on behind us. Okay, so here we are um, demoing CMW cards, which is our graphical user interface. It's an interface for designing scripts for testing 3GPP test cases. On this particular demonstration, I have a UE, which is linked up to my CMW500, and we have about four cells, um, all broadcasting active at the same time, and we are using the signals to put, locate a position on the UE using OTDOA. And uh, what we have done here is we have hooked up Google Earth so all the coordinates that the device is getting, we are plotting them on Google Earth. And as and when the device gets the new coordinates, it moves between the Bay Area and Tokyo. And, and we show you a simulated and a calculated UE position, thereby giving you a delta. So the application for something like this would be uh, asset tracking in low power wireless area networks, such as bike rentals. In, in, a, in an urban environment which has coverage from NB-IoT, they have an NB-IoT chip on it, and you can always track your asset as it moves around the area. All right, very good. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to give us an update on how Rody's helping with the IoT device testing landscape. All right, thank you. Thanks.